On Your Side at 10 starts now. Record setting heat in Boise today. And that heat adding to the fire danger all across the state. We have got live team coverage for you tonight of the heat and flames across Idaho. Eric Fink is near Mountain Home where wildfires are threatening homes and forcing road closures. Scott Traval is standing by with the latest on conditions contributing to those places. And Tina Jensen live near Castle Ford and one of the largest fires in the country. Let's first go straight to Eric Fink with the latest near Mountain Home in Idaho wildfires. Michelle Don, this Benwalk fire here that has, has tore through Mountain Home is up to 15,000 acres. Bureau of Land Management officials telling me that it is continuing to grow. The interstate, I-84, is closed currently in both directions. Parts of Highway 20 have reopened. BLM has eight engines on scene, a helicopter that just finished dropping some, some water on these flames. I'm going to step out of the way here. You can see these orange flames off in the distance, Elmore County had to evacuate some homes and some businesses along exit 95. Those businesses were evacuated, but we are told the flames did not get to those businesses, but homes remain evacuated tonight. And I have with me here tonight, Paul Munisa. He is a guest at the Hampton Inn and Suites where we are stationed just about feet away. Paul, uh, tell us about an hour, hour and a half ago, what you were seeing right outside your hotel window. Uh, fire, a, a huge line of fire all the way back to the mountain back there, and uh, they were, we were being prepared to get be evacuated. Uh, we had our luggages, and at the last minute they told us that uh, it would probably be safer if we just stayed in the hotel. Why weren't you evacuated? What was the reason that they thought it would be safer for you? Well, they had, they were dumping um, fire retardant material around the building, and the bulldozers were digging trenches, so they just felt that it would be safer if they kept everybody inside. And you're in town from Buffalo. Ever yeah. seen something like this? Ever seen flames like this? Never. A lot of snow. No fire. <laughs> okay. Paul, thank you very much. We will have uh, the very latest for you a little bit later on in our newscast. Stay with us for continuing coverage of this fire here in Mountain Home. Live tonight in Mountain Home, Eric Fink, Today 6 on your side. We also want to let you know that the Red Cross has set up a shelter for evacuees of the Benwalk fire. Anyone in need of assistance can go to this address, 325 South 3rd West in Mountain Home. They are offering overnight shelter, food, water for absolutely anyone in need. As we